an autopsy is expected to be performed on the body of an elderly woman in Borio who was found dead in her home on June 17. At about 6.30 p.m., a neighbor of the deceased contacted the police after attempts to contact the elderly woman failed. Upon arriving to the scene, police observed the elderly woman lying motionless on her kitchen floor. The district medical officer arrived on the scene, examined the body, and pronounced her dead. To determine the cause of death, an autopsy has been ordered and the police are continuing their investigations into the matter. Meanwhile, police are investigating a traffic accident that occurred along the island main road in the vicinity of Brown Pasture, Nevis, on June 17. The accident took place at approximately 8.30 a.m. and involved Motor G P1206, which was driven by Glenet Williams of Butler's, and Motorcycle RA356, driven by Cleon Dor of Butler's. Circumstances are that Dor was traveling from Gingerland to Charlestown, and when he got in the vicinity of Brown Pasture, he overtook a passenger bus and collided into Motor G P1206, which was traveling in the opposite direction. He sustained injuries to his head and was pronounced dead by the district medical examiner who was summoned to the scene. I am Namayam Bamganalo for SKN Newsline. Billionaire investor Alki David, who had expressed an interest to invest in the cannabis industry on St. Kitts and Nevis, was disrespectful to the people of the country, opined social activist Dwyer Astafan. Commenting on the chain of events involving Mr. David last month, who was arrested for bringing into the country hemp seedlings in his bid to get farmers on the island to grow cannabis for the export market, Mr. Astafan said Mr. David conducted himself in a disrespectful manner. What I didn't like about Mr. David's approach and I don't see anything wrong with Dr. Douglas bringing in an investor. He's the leader of the opposition. That doesn't mean he can't bring in an investor. If the investor made mistakes insofar as licensing and other permits were concerned, then, then, then that's another matter. Um, I don't have the details on that. What I do know and I have evidence of is that on several occasions, he conducted himself in a very disrespectful and unbecoming manner. And that to me is a red flag. If you're coming into our country, don't just make promises to people that they're going to make money. Show them respect. And I don't think Mr. David showed us respect the way he ought to have. Maybe he's accustomed to behaving like that wherever he goes. Um, he and others like him must know that that's not acceptable to us. Mr. David arrived in St. Kitts and Nevis on the invitation of opposition leader Dr. Denzel Douglas. At a press conference last month, an irate Mr. David blurted out profanities as he called on Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris to speed up the process in passing the law legalizing the use of cannabis. I do deal with Harris today. If he gives the farmers licenses now today to stop farming rather than f around, excuse me, for another three months. Oh, stop it, guys. Like anyone doesn't say the word f Give me a break. Shh. You know. Both Dr. Douglas and the Labour Party chairman, Dr. Terence Drew, who were both at the press conference, have distanced themselves from Mr. David's profane remarks. In a press release issued days later, Mr. David said at that press conference that he was arrested when he attempted to leave the country on his private jet, long after his hemp seedlings were confiscated by authorities. He argued that if he was allowed to enter the country without the seedlings, he should not have been arrested. But Mr. Astefan contended that the timing of his arrest is not germane to the issue. Hemp seeds are sold in the supermarkets here. Right. I use hemp in my breakfast every morning. Hemp seeds. So if he was bringing in hemp, um, he would still need to have a permit, an import license. Um, if he's bringing in hemp plants, seedlings, then he would have to get paperwork from the agricultural de department and possibly from the Ministry of Health. So I don't know if he abided by those specific protocols. I don't know the details of it. And it is really not for him to decide that. Um, seeing that it was done in association with Dr. Douglas, who would know the protocols, I would presume that Dr. Douglas or 
Mr. David's legal advisor would have guided him as to what the processes were. So I, I really don't have information on that. Um, I, do, I don't have information on that part of it. But even if hemp is a legal product in our market, as I said, the supermarkets sell it, it doesn't mean you can just bring in something as you like and decide it's here in the airport, you know, I'm bringing it in, I'm landing it. It doesn't work that way. Meanwhile, Mr. Astavan believes this matter pertaining to Mr. David has become a political one and it does not favor Dr. Douglas and the Labour Party. If this has been given political stuff because of the Dr. Douglas, the leader of the opposition, so the other side said, and Mr. Alki David's behavior didn't help him nor did it help Dr. Douglas politically. Which is what I was going to ask next, if yeah. you think there's a become a political... Well, it is, a poli it is very political. I would be surprised if the incumbents do not use the, if you will, the Alki David affair as a political weapon against Dr. Douglas as the silly season comes upon us. I wouldn't be surprised. And so Dr. Douglas will have to do some rationalization and defending on that. The cannabis bill already had its first reading in the National Assembly in May, just days before Mr. David's press conference. Mr. David was released on bail and is to appear in court to answer to drug charges for smuggling 1.3 million in cannabis plants onto the island. His business partner, Charles Edwards, otherwise known as Chase Ergen, was charged with the use of threatening language, resisting arrest and battery on police. I am Andre Huey for SKN Newsline. At Najico, the things that matter to you matter to us. Like knowing you're covered when your house gets flooded. Getting your settlements quickly and fairly when a fire hits your home. And making sure your business can keep going even after an accident happens on site. At Najico, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything. Me all a walk like a champion. Hey, hey, hey! How would you like to go to the Sinkis Music Festival VIP style? Well, KFC can make it happen. When you spend $30 or more, you get a chance to be one of the three winners per night to experience Music Festival VIP style. All you have to do, log on to www.kfcsinkitsurvey.com. Complete the survey. Write the validation code on the back of the receipt along with your name and phone number and return it to any cashier and you will make yourself eligible to win go to the music festival vip style compliments kfc it's finger licking good think i walk like a champion talk like a champion In today's world, so many ordinary businesses pass themselves off as something special. But what's really special is what you're looking for. Don't settle for anything less. Inspiring women to be their own kind of beautiful. Offering a comfortable place to shop for quality products and excellent service. We have everything you need. Looking for fashion? We have top quality jewelry. For makeup? We have them. Black Opal, Revlon, Perfume, and much more. Lucky Cosmetics Hair and Beauty Supply Store. We carry an extensive collection of hair and beauty products to look your best. We are located at the Circus Taxi Stand, Bastyr St. Kitts. Call us at 869-466-7541. Meridian Medical Pharmacy is the best place to get your pharmaceutical products. We make filling prescriptions easy. Our well-stocked pharmacies are ready to serve you. Check us for medical supplies, skin products, supplements, and so much more. Ask about flu vaccines. 
At Meridian Medical Pharmacy, we are focused on offering a professional, personalized pharmacy experience. Our service is personal, compassionate, and friendly. Located at our state-of-the-art medical facilities at the corner of South Independent Square Street and Adlam Street, in downtown Bastyr St. Kitts. And now we have a new branch on Frigate Bay Road in the Sugars Complex. Call 465-5096 and 465-3306 or email pharmacy at meridianmedcons.com. Visit Meridian Medical Pharmacy today and experience professional customer care and fast prescription fill-in service. Meridian, Meridian Medical, Medical Pharmacy. Pharmacy. Banner, 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 commercial sign, decal printing, canvas prints, license plates, license plates posters. posters. We at Multigraphics are dedicated to providing quality products and service to our customers. Our team takes pride in the craftsmanship and is passionate about its work. Every job, large or small, is important. Most of our customers come to us through referrals. That's because our number one priority is service. We serve a wide variety of customers, such as restaurants, retail stores, manufacturers, trucking companies, and many more. Our capabilities include design, production, and installation. How can we help? We are located at Bird Rock at the Woods Wright Compound. Call us at 869-763-1511 or 784-491-7599. Multigraphics. Residents in the Ponds Pasture area are cooperating with the St. Kitts Solid Based Management Corporation, SWMC, in affording sufficient room for the passage of garbage trucks to collect household waste. In previous reports, the SWMC reported that it was difficult for truck drivers to maneuver the trucks in the narrow roadways because some residents were parking their vehicles onto the road or not on the curb on the sidewalks to allow the trucks to pass by. But according to Ms. Anita Lake, the SWMC Collections Manager, after meeting with residents and visiting door-to-door -door in the community, the situation has vastly improved. Well, um, we've been getting some positive feedback. So, you know, like everything is, you have your one or two hiccups. But persons, really, they, they're cooperating, they're, they're complying. It is not as, as tedious as before. Um, people are really working and helping, yes. And I've been... Consistent over the last so year. far, so far, yeah. Since the engagement with the residents, there has been only one incident, according to Miss Lake. Um, we had uh, one incident since that with um, in John Street where pers um, someone, you know, they, they do a little business uh, selling gas and the overhang of the galvanized was hanging in the road, so the truck had some difficulties passing through. And so we tried to get the person to, you know, mm. at least take off piece of the galvanized. We, we, we had no problem doing it ourselves if, need, if needed at the time. Um, they gave us some trouble. She refused to do it, she refused to comply. So we had to bring the police in, in um, and also went and you know, confront the, 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 the gas um, company to whom she sells on behalf. And so, but eventually mm -hmm. it was taken care of, and so it is much easier now for the truck now to be in, in John Street. Person, persons are, are waking up, they are moving their vehicles, they, uh, they're parking on one side, in, in which, um, according to what we requested, and they are working along with us. With the new SWMC garbage trucks, driving in these communities would have been more tedious, as the new trucks are longer than the older ones, making the need for cooperation with the residents even greater. Ms. Lake is elated that the situation in Ponds Pasture has improved and is appealing to residents in other communities that have narrow roadways to do the same and cooperate with the SWMC. She gave an example of a similar challenge in the Wade's Garden area recently. One young lady, you know, she complained that the truck left her garbage, but then she still in the end admitted that it was her fault because she had her vehicle packed um, in the area. And she in came and said that, well, the, the, the loader would have spoken to her before and she was complying over the time, but that one very moment she had forgot and so she didn't move the vehicle and so the truck didn't get to take her, her garbage. And I, you know, I, I try to encourage her, you know, these are things that we are telling persons that 
you know if you pack it you're gonna make it really difficult because the trucks are five I must say five feet longer than than the normal ones we had before and so we're asking person to really you know um, comply work move the vehicle out of the way once you know the truck is coming in your area try and and, 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 and be as clear as possible for the for the truck so that your garbage can be taken up we are providing a service to you and so we are working on your behalf and you want we want you to work with us as well to get it done the swmc has frequently requested persons who park their vehicles in front of their houses along narrow roadways to ensure that on garbage pickup days they remove their vehicles or park in a manner that allow the trucks to pass freely failure to do so will result in the inability of the swmc to collect their garbage and that of their neighbors As we await the start of the SKNFA National Bank Premier League Super 6 playoffs, we continue our features of the teams that have already been confirmed for the competition. Last week, we featured Flow 4 GKN Rockets and SL Horses St. Pauls. Today, we feature S Crave Newtown United. Newtown is a community of champions. Their female football team have dominated women's football, winning the last seven consecutive championship titles. In the past, their cricket team have dominated the sport, winning multiple titles, and even the primary school in the community have succeeded at school sporting levels. So one could only imagine the agony of the senior men's football team, S. Crave Newtown United, failing to win any major trophy in football for the last seven years. It was in 2012 under then-coach Anthony Nets Isaacs that Newtown last won the Premier League title. Back then, most of their senior players who have featured heavily in the national team were part of the Newtown construct and have won everything on offer in domestic football. Winning came naturally to them. Since then, there have been several miscues, missed playoff appearances and failure to even make the finals of some of the cup competitions. But there is something different this season about Newtown. Their young players who have come through the Newtown Academy are now full-blown fixtures in the senior team. Additionally, they have been active in the transfer market, gaining some exceptional talents. Star strikers Orlando Ak Mitchum and Carlos Berti have returned home to Newtown after tenures with Connery FC and Keon FC respectively. Newtown have also been able to nab the talents of Jayan Duncan of Keon and Devon Elliott of Village. If that were not enough, at the start of the second round in the second transfer window, they captured star goalkeeper Zellian Morton, who was between the sticks for the Village Superstars Championship team last season. The signs are telling. Newtown started off the season with free floor attacking football, the signature style of new head coach Earl Jones. Fans had high hopes after they drubbed the defending champions Ramsey Superstars 4-0 in the early part of the season, which turned out to be the first of two games Village lost this season in the Premier League. But early bumps in the road comprised of inconsistent results and even a losing streak in the third round raised some questions. Will Newtown win anything this year? and end their seven-year hoodoo. Jones, a former Newtown player who was on that championship team in 2012, answered that question loudly when Newtown clipped the FA Cup against the coveted Village Superstars. After that match, Jones declared that Newtown appeared to be the only team that can challenge Village. I've been telling them it looked like it's only... No, I mean, <laughs> I didn't really want to say this, but it, it, to be honest, looking at it, and maybe saying this might give the other teams a boost or a pep in the step, you know. I can say it frank, it seems like it's only Newtown could start village like we did tonight. Having won the FA Cup, he is now poised to help the team get over the hump and win the Premier League title. If, for anything, Jones and the Newtown community want to do it for the fans and the community of Newtown. The community is begging. They've been begging over and over for years, since 2012, you know, just to get the right group of fellows together just to keep them intact and, and we will be victorious because I mean once you give dedication you give time and everything just gonna fall in place. The Newtown United women's team have done their part. The community of Newtown is depending on the men to do theirs. Want to promote your business or event to a vast, growing audience? Then advertise with SKN Newsline and get a comprehensive package for our advertising services. When you advertise with us, 
we promote your business or event on multiple platforms, both online and offline, including our sister radio station, Voice of the Caribbean Radio, our Facebook pages, and affiliate networks and offline marketing. That's effective, creative, and unprecedented. Simply put, we offer what our competitors don't at a really affordable price. So visit our office on Central Market Street, Bastere, and speak to one of our knowledgeable and friendly sales representatives, or call 765-7254-668-9013 or 665-7496. Get your message out on SKN Newsline and our affiliate network of marketing tools. Marketing Marketing done creatively. For all your printing needs at top-notch quality, go, go to, to Digital, Digital Print, Print Plus, Plus, located on Princess Street, Bass Deer St. Kitts. At Digital Print Plus, you get the best in business cards, letterheads, envelopes, wristbands, tent cards, rack cards, flyers, brochures, logo designs, posters, photos, architectural designs, 3D renderings, and so much more. Digital Print Plus gives you the best quality at competitive prices. Contact us at 767-7468 or email digitalprintskn at gmail.com or follow us on Facebook at Digital Print SKN. Digital Print Plus for all your printing needs at the best quality. Why read the news when you can watch it? Introducing SKN Newsline, the Federation's only online TV news platform. SKN Newsline is an online TV news platform covering news in St. Kitts and Nevis. We provide a daily and accurate news on the big stories and stories of interest that other media outlets have ignored. You can watch SKN Newsline on our website, www.sknnewsline.com or Facebook page at www.fb.com slash SKN Newsline and also Subscribe to our SKN Newsline YouTube channel. SKN Newsline, your world, your news. Get up, get up mornings with Carly Springett on Voice of the Caribbean Radio, Monday to Fridays, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Be energized from the spoken word, daily blessings, black facts, health tips, divine connections, kingdom happenings, weather, SRN news, and more. With star-studded interviews and testimonies and practical principles to help listeners do what the mantra proclaims. Get up mornings with Carl D. Springett from Faith Walkins, Love Talkins, and Joy Livings. Get up and be energized with Carl D. Springett, Monday to Fridays, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Voice of the Caribbean Radio at voiceofthecaribbean.net. Get up, get up mornings with Carl D. Springett. Online radio has never been this great. It's Voice of the Caribbean Radio at voiceofthecaribbean.net. Tune in for Caribbean music and programs, news, sports, entertainment, vibrant discussions, and much more. Tune into programs like Get Up Mornings with Carl D. Springett, live on weekday mornings. Let's Talk St. Kitts and Nevis with Andre Huey. The Caribbean News Hour and The Quiet Storm with Magic Man. Tune into great music to inspire you each day only on Voice of the Caribbean Radio at www.voiceofthecaribbean.net or on our Android mobile app in the Google Play Store. Just search Voice of the Caribbean. We're also on TuneIn Radio. Voice of the Caribbean Radio, reaching the Caribbean and beyond. Check our website for program listings. Now you can have SK Newsline on the go. Introducing SK Newsline Android mobile app. Search SK Newsline in the Google Play Store. Download the app free and stay up to date with TV news in St. Kitts and Nevis in the palm of your hands. With this app, you can watch your news reports, watch our live news feed on SK Newsline TV, engage with us and other app users in the chat room, look at our special features, send us news tips, and call us directly. It's, it's news, news on, on the, the go. go. The SK Newsline Android mobile app. Download, Download it free, free today. today. You're watching SKN Newsline TV live on SKNNewsline.com. <laughs> 